racism, bias, and bigotry don't want it with me. It's a damn shame that I wasn't born a lawyer. Um, CIA operative, former Marine Daniel Penny, went and either killed a homeless black man who was also an agent or either an unexpected victim of a CIA agent killing him. And the reason why this CIA agent killed him is because the United States of America does not give a shit about people who fought for this country. And the two most neglected and abused people in society are number one, black people, and number two, people that fought for this country. Because America has a spirit, and it is the people who are the most intensive dedicators of anything. That would be the people that build, the slaves, and the soldiers that bleed, you know, soldiers, they are to receive nothing. And that is just the spirit of America. You're enslaved and you don't get anything and you fight like a warrior and you're left homeless. Now, with that said, you know, Americans believe anything. Hey, everybody, pandemic, go inside, stay away from your neighbors. Don't sneeze on anybody. Wash your hands. Don't talk to anybody. Businesses are shut down. Stay inside. Your job is gone. Pro possibly. And if you don't take this shot, I'll kick you out in the streets and kick you out of your employment. And the shot, it doesn't cure anything. It doesn't solve anything. It doesn't stop you from spreading it. It doesn't do anything. Take it because I told you to. Okay, yes, daddy. We are the U.S. citizens. And hey, you. You're making me sick. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Put on your mask. That's the type of society that we are. So we will follow anything and believe anything. But without further ado, let me read about the real true American person or the real true American mentality and what we really think about people like um, Mr. Penny, the former Marine, a.k.a. CIA agent, who possibly killed the guy with a whole bunch of Michael Jackson photos online so that, you know, the general public would feel some type of way about it rather than just killing a random homeless person. But anyway, but anyway, let's read. In a disturbing turn of events, a group of homeless men say well-known veterans advocate in the Hudson Valley region bribed them with cash, food, and booze to pretend they were former military personnel who had been booted from a hotel in favor of migrants. <laughs> this is what we really think about them. I'm going to just skip down a little bit and read. A spokesman, a spokesman for the state attorneys general, Latita James, said their office is currently conducting a review of the matter. We're aware of the situation and are reviewing the matter. The lie was supposedly spearheaded by Sharon Tony Finch, a decorated military veteran and director of the Yerick Israel Tony Foundation, interesting name, who made headlines last week when she claimed she was forced to find the quote-unquote vets accommodations after they were asked to leave the Crossroads Homeless Center to make room for new immigrant arrivals. In an interview with the Post on Friday, Orange County DA David Hoover said he was planning on launching an investigation into how the money from the nonprofit group linked to the alleged scam was allocated. Look, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just read another line or two, okay? Uh, when contacted by the Post, Tony Finch flatly denied any wrongdoing. No, I never hired. No, I never, I never did said that. No, I never paid anybody. Who I had was a veteran, and that's all I'm going to say. That's insane. Be before he hung up the phone. Okay, so... This person, hold on, let, let me go back and make sure I read that correctly. All right. Okay. 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 Now, if I read that correctly, a well-known 
veterans advocate, a.k.a. a person who has been grifting off of veterans for decades, a well-known veteran advocate. And this is what they're doing right now. They got some bullshit going on where groups of people are pretending to be advocates for homeless veterans that are being kicked out of homeless shelters in New York. Now, there was somebody that shared a picture a couple of months ago. It was a picture of a black woman, a fat black woman in New York. She was kind of fat, and she had cotton balls all in her head, and she was a homeless person. And she was in a wheelchair, and she was sitting out in the snow. Looked like she was freezing to death. And there's a lady who is documenting this, and she puts it on her Facebook page. And there were hundreds of people that commented and everybody engaged in a social exercise of let me display how much of a shit I don't give. But I guess you could say the biggest comment was, well, add that to the list of all the other things you can't do anything about. In other words, fuck them black ass niggers. It is what it is. Don't we just fuck over them all the time? Why are guilty ass white people like you always shining a light on it? But one thing that this country has always, a reality that this country has always done, is that it's always thrown away black people like garbage, but black people have never just died in the garbage can like cockroaches. In other words, the criminals, the thieves, and the desperate vagabonds that you have all around you ripping up, destroying, and tearing down everything, all the, all those, all the dead-ass cockroaches that you thought would be dead that never died. And the two most abused and neglected people are veterans and black people. And those two people, those two groups in New York are being kicked out of homeless shelters in exchange for immigrants who are taking the food that homeless shelter workers are giving them and throwing it in their face and saying, bitch, I want caviar and shrimp. Get that rice and bread out of my fucking face, bitch. And, you know. This is the mentality that uh, they have, and there's not a doubt in my mind that the U.S. news media cooked up and generated. Cooked up and generated the whole Jordan Neely death thing to avoid this. They thought that maybe this would work its way out to the media. But being that racism and prejudice have taken over, Everybody is pretty much blind right now, and everybody thinks they're following a story in which us good old patriotic Americans care about a blue-eyed veteran who went out and killed a throwaway vagabond. But the truth in reality is that, you know, one of my favorite rock groups is Five Finger Death Punch, and they did a song with over 800 million views, Wrong Side of Heaven, in which they advocated for the plight of veterans who are totally thrown away and abandoned people. As a matter of fact, 330,000 of the homeless people in the United States of America are just like Mr. Penny. They're veterans, and they're abandoned and forgotten about. And the news media, the same one that convinced y'all to get shit injected into your body, is pretty much the same one that is making you think that you're doing your patriotic duty supporting people who in reality, we don't care about. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Kiss my ass. I'm out.